I know the sunscreen that is drugstore one, which you can purchase at Target with no problem in the United States. I'm not sure about Canada. It's Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. It's 100% mineral board spectrum SPF 30. This sunscreen turned out to be tinted sunscreen and it's only in one shade. I wish that they make more shades for different skin tones to uh, enjoy it and to wear it. But right now it's only in one shade and which doesn't fit my skin tone. Keep watching and stay tuned to this Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen if you are interested and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video, turn on notification bell so you will see my future uploads. So let's get into it. So let's talk about texture of the sunscreen. So I would say that it's pretty creamy and it applies very smoothly and seamlessly i was very surprised because you know sometimes drugstore sunscreens are very heavy and sticky and very uncomfortable to wear but this one was pretty nice the scent of the sunscreen reminded me something like between mint and lavender uh, in the beginning when i first tried it it was pretty intense to my nose but later i felt like you know it's it's still fine you should be very careful while applying it closer to your eyes because that's when fragrance can get into your eyes and actually irritate them although it's mineral physical sunscreen i also felt like when the sand is more like lavender or mint it brings some cooling sensation to my skin so it's very nice to wear during summer and you know during summer when you feel like it's hot and you need this cooling effect on your skin it's nice i uh, wear it a few times right now during fall i wear it on the top of another mineral physical sunscreen to cover the white cast and it actually works very well on the top of another sunscreen which is also mineral it makes very nice like velvety uh, something between like mate and velvety uh, finish on my skin it felt very nice on the skin so it felt very like i said velvety finish sometime when i touch my face by accident it transferred to my finger so the thing is that this sunscreen it works uh, more like foundation as well because it's tinted sunscreen but like i said it's only one shade and it's a little bit dark for me i would say that fierce fair skin tones shouldn't even look at the sunscreen because i'm pretty like uh, from fair to natural and it doesn't work on my skin unless i apply maybe like the tiny bit like to cover you know have like a medium coverage not full coverage like usual when i apply foundation the problem with tinted sunscreen that it can stain your clothes so it's also very hard to wash it off i also had a stain on my hat and i also had a stain on my shirt in summer when i wore it but i would say that it works nice with rovectin aqua susan uv protector spf 50 i actually don't like to wear the sunscreen alone because it kind of drying my skin out when i wear it but first i will wear a, one layer of the sunscreen and then i will wait until it dries out and then i will apply second layer of my sunscreen protection and it will be bliss and that means that i don't apply a lot of tinted sunscreen so it kind of like balance the shade on my face and it doesn't look orange so the problem with tinted sunscreen is that they are making your face look like orangey a little bit like feels like you know you go to sun in sun tan bed if it's right to say actually on my instagram channel a few months ago when i first get this sunscreen and i posted on my stories i asked people what do you think does it look like you know the shade doesn't match my skin color and some people replied it was like mostly like 50 50 that people replied that it's actually fine like you know you couldn't even notice it but of course like on the camera and on the video sometimes the quality is blur out and you know the lights are different but actually in real life if you see me on the street you will be like oh my gosh this looks so orange to you like you look orange and brown at the same time but talking about the filters it's titanium dioxide 4.1 percent and zinc oxide is 11.5 percent and i think it's available at target i think for like i don't know 
15, 16 dollars. I will put on the screen the real price at the moment. And I also got it uh, as a PR box from uh, Bliss. And I actually very happy that they sent it to me so I could try tinted sunscreen. I haven't tried other sunscreens that are tinted before the sunscreen. Actually, there is another sunscreen that more like foundation wipe. I wouldn't call it sunscreen. So it just came out just recently and it's called Tower 28 Beauty brand. I hope you heard about it. And I was very excited to get it and apply it right away. Like, you know, like usually you apply sunscreen that is, you know, one, two finger length, right? But this is what I did. And I felt like my skin was very saturated in this sunscreen. Like it felt like I applied too much foundation. So but this sunscreen didn't feel like that because it's not that liquidy as the Tower 28 Beauty. And this one is more like a solid cream and it, it applies very nicely. So it feels like, you know, you have real protection, although it's also SPF 30. Tower 28, I felt like I just cover, I need just to cover some spots, like to do some medium coverage. But at the same time, it's still foundation, like because it's runny and you know, I don't want to rely on the foundation during summer. I sometimes feel like, okay, maybe I still can wear the sunscreen, although it looks a little bit orange and I will look like a little bit like tanned. But then I feel like, you know, I'm just applying just a little bit and it's not enough of protection, and especially in summer. Like maybe right now during fall, I'm fine wearing it because UV index is around three, four, maximum five. And we have more cloudy days and ra rainy days in California. So maybe I can wear it. And also what I heard from some of YouTubers, the one that is beauty skin influencer youtubers that this is, was the worst sunscreen that they ever try and i don't agree with that because it's very nice formula like if the shade is a little bit lighter i would take it and it will be my favorite sunscreen for the texture for the finish for the feeling that it doesn't peel at all with vitamin c products or any other products that i applied before the sunscreen some people accused bliss for doing you know confusing uh, marketing like saying that it's invisible like by it's not invisible like i mean on fair skin tones it will look non-invisible because you will look orange and those who are darker skin tone or those who are very dark this will make them look even lighter so it's not that invisible you know they didn't put the word tinted but i wouldn't say that it's you know that bad to consider i agree that we need to have more shades not just for dark people but also for those who have fair skin tone natural skin tone because this is just and doesn't work like one size fits all really appreciate bliss taking efforts to develop this kind of sunscreen that is actually amazing formula and i wish that in the future they're going to develop more shades but at the same time i understand that it's not that easy for the brand for the small brand to develop different kind of shades like you know 30 shades of foundation that we have so brand that is small cannot just develop sunscreen that is in 30 shades every single shade should be tested for the spf level so it's not that easy you just add some color in the sunscreen and it's done and you know the shade is just done and you know that your spf 30 or spf 45 or spf 52 or whatever they need to test every single shade so this is not that easy as it seems like. Well, I hope this is all for the review today for the Bliss Invisible Daily Sunscreen Blockstar SPF 30, which is available at Target. So go and check it out at your local Target if you live in the United States. And I hope that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell so you will see my future uploads and I will see you in my next videos. And bye-bye.